as we know, there's been a recent rise in cases. This is driven by the holiday season uh, and the arrival of Omicron in Miami-Dade and unfortunately all across the nation and the world. It is an unfortunate reminder to all of us that the pandemic is not over. Despite all of our efforts, the pandemic is not over. This week, we're taking a number of additional steps and I am uh, very pleased to be able to announce to you that we have signed uh, the emergency order requiring hospitals once again to resume daily COVID reporting. That is effective tomorrow. And that's so we can monitor the caseload in the hospitals. We cannot allow our hospitals to be overwhelmed with cases. And to stay ahead of the data, we are, are also sequencing for COVID variants at our county testing sites as well, we're sampling wastewater to look for incidents. And finally, as we have since the very beginning, we're working hard to stay nimble to make new measures and latest mitigation tools available across our community. And that's why we're laying the groundwork to be able to offer the Pfizer antiviral pill at our sites as soon as it's officially approved. That will be contingent on available supply. And as we've seen, uh, getting the necessary supply of vaccines in the past and now other measures has been a challenge, but we will work very, very hard to meet the challenge and get a good supply of this antiviral medication and roll it out at our new treatment centers. So this is an important new tool in our toolkit. The most recent testing by Pfizer shows that the pill is 90% effective. 90% effective in preventing hospitalization. And if the data holds true, the antiviral pill can play a key role in preventing our hospitals from getting overwhelmed. What we're seeing, we've, we've actually seen a significant spike in test demand over the last, uh, over the last several days. Uh, we are adding staff, we're working around the clock. Um, what we're seeing right now is a slower response at some sites. Uh, where you know what, what was normally a 15 minute wait here has gone up to about an hour in some instances. Uh, so we're working diligently to try and bring those time, those wait times down so people can get on with, uh, with their day.